I enlisted in the United States Army when I was 17. I started my military career in January of 86 where I was in training and one night uh, members of my own squad attacked me while I was in my sleep and I was beaten and tortured and raped by them. So we had a real hard day of training. It was right around the third or the fourth week of basic. It was snowing that night and I remember being so tired and it being so late and all I wanted to do was hit the rack so I got my boots off and I figured I'd, you know, sleep for another night, get up in the morning, do it all again, just got to make it through. You got to make a difference. And next thing I know, uh, I should be sleeping and, and, and something's wet and it sounds like rain. Um, and then I feel pain, something's hitting me, somebody's hitting me and, and I'm fighting and I can't see anything, it's dark and I'm getting rained on um, and I'm fighting and, and getting hit more and more and I finally, I can see um, by the moonlight and um, I can see that my squad's around me and they've been holding me down with a blanket and um, I'm trying to trying to fight my way out of it. And as you're doing it, you're realizing it's not a dream. Um, and I'm getting hit, I'm getting hit everywhere. I'm getting hit in the face a lot. Um, but I could feel a lot of pain and it's wet and uh, it's scary, very scary. And I'm, I'm trying to get out of my bunk, I'm trying to fight and I'm getting hit and I'm getting hit in the face and everything goes black. And next thing I remember, I'm in the room across the hall and I'm trying to run for the window, but I'm running in the wrong direction. I'm not running towards the stairs. I'm running towards the latrine, um, but that's the direction I'm going. And um, I, they're on me again and they drag me, drag me into the bathroom and um, they're hitting me and uh, I could see them all around me just yelling, kill him, hit him again, kill him. And I'm trying to, I'm trying to get away from it, but I don't even feel like I can pull away. I don't even feel like there's anywhere to run it anymore. I'm just, I'm just getting hit over and over again. And I'm just screaming for him to stop. And it's just like it's some kind of big show for him. And then everything went black again. And I remember right before it, it all disappeared, I thought, I'm gonna die here. They're gonna beat me to death in the latrine. After my squad tortured me and raped me and the doctor wouldn't even listen and I had to be back in the middle of it, I became born again hard. That's what they want, right? And if I'm the craziest motherfucker, then they gotta think they better leave me alone because I gotta sleep in the same room with them. So, you name it. Pop that grenade, hold on to it till it almost blows you in pieces before you throw it. Hang from the top of that freaking obstacle and just look, look at the end. Born again hard. They want you to be a killer. Um, they're killer. That's what I became because I'm not safe. And either I'm going to go ahead and get that early relief and I'm finally going to die. Or they're just going to be too scared to touch me again. And that's the way it was. I'm sure they were really, really, really happy. They got plenty of flags. They got plenty of good write-ups. I'm sure you did a good job as far as you're concerned. Congratulations, U.S. Army.